Yo, what is going on everybody? This is RBT and welcome back to another FIFA 18 experiment on the channel. Today, we're going to see how much a 99 overall striker improves a team throughout FIFA 18 career mode. This is something that I did last year on Madden 17. I tested out how much a 99 overall player being added to a team at a specific position actually improved the team. So today, we're going to test out how much a 99 overall striker actually does improve a team. So what I did is here we picked the team Huddersfield. Why Huddersfield? I don't know. But we're going to sim a season with the regular Huddersfield squad and see how they do. And then in a second simulation, we're going to add in the 99 overall striker instead of the guy they already have there and then see how much they improve from the first simulation to the next therefore the difference in between the two seasons will be the improvement you do get with the addition of a 99 overall striker now if you guys do enjoy this video and want to see other videos like this but at other positions let me know what positions you want to see next in the comment section below and i'll be sure to do that i really do find these experiments interesting so if you guys enjoy them i'll definitely bring them to the channel and after experimenting with the additions of 99 overall players into the squad at particular positions we can then go and see how much a zero overall player at a particular position would actually hurt a team and hopefully you guys will want to see that as well so if you guys do enjoy this let me know by dropping a like let's see if we can smash a thousand likes on this video and let me know if you have any other fifa 18 experiment videos in the comment section below now if you see one with a lot of thumbs up i will implement them into a future video you could have a chance to have your idea featured in the video as well be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new and be sure to turn on the notification bell if you haven't already. But with that said, what we're going to do is go ahead and simulate to the end of the season. It takes about 25 minutes to simulate a season and just go ahead and look at how the season went, how we will fare in the EPL. And also, just for experiment's sake, I did put Huddersfield in the Champions League. They'll probably get knocked out in the group stages, like 100% will get knocked out in the group stages. But I just wanted to be able to compare our group stage finish in the Champions League to how it will be with a 99 overall player. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and sim to the end of the season and see how things fare with Huddersfield and see if somehow they can avoid relegation. So we finally made it to the end of the season, and judging by our 65 manager rating, probably didn't do too well. But did we get relegated? Did get relegated. No, we didn't. We barely escaped relegation, literally by one point. And it looks like West Brom, Crystal Palace, and Brighton are going down. We end up with 36 points. Manchester United, surprise, surprise, win the league. Spurs second, Liverpool in third, Chelsea in fourth, Leicester in fifth, Arsenal in Man City, disappointing campaigns as they come in 7th and 6th. Now let's see how we did in the cup competitions because we do need to compare that. So we finished with 35 points. We have to see how many extra points we get with the 99 overall player. Did we finish in, did we come in the round of 16? I don't see us. Unless I'm blind, we did not even get into the round of 16 in the FA Cup. So if we get into the round of 16 with the 99 overall striker added to the team, that's an improvement right from there. Moving on to the Carabao Cup, it looks like we did not make it into the round of 16 there either so that's pretty embarrassing so if we did not make it into the round of 16 of those two cups there's no way of course we did not make it to the champions league round of 16 Bayern munich and napoli actually are going to be playing in the champions league final kind of surprising that napoli's there. they actually played sevilla in the semi-final so kind of surprising semi-final there so we ended up in third place in our group we actually finished above leipzig we had a total of four points Leipzig, they should be doing a little bit better than that, but we had one of the easiest groups and we still did awful. So we had to make sure I go into the same group for the next season so we can kind of, it's kind of like an even comparison. So going into the second simulation, we have to see if we improve from 36 points. We would make it to the round of 16 in any of the cups, including the Champions League, to see if we get more than four points in our Champions League group stage. But with that said, let's jump into simulation number two with the 99 overall striker. So time to jump into simulation number two and finally time to see how much the 99 overall striker actually improves a team. As you see right here, boys, we have our 99 overall striker. Big Penis is his name. Big Penis is a beast. And as you see, every single stat except Composure is 99 because that stat cannot be edited. It was the same thing last year. Don't know why they didn't change it. I guess maybe they don't want you to be able to edit Composure, but Composure is the only stat that's not 99. And I think the goalkeeper stats as well, but you guys don't really care about that. And look at the specialties. <laughs> I think that is uh, every single uh, possible specialty in the game that he does have, but he doesn't have any traits. But he's still a beast because he's 9 overall big penis. So with that, boys, it is time to simulate till the end of this season and see how much this big penis improves the team it's going to be about 25 minutes for me but about 30 seconds for you it's time to simulate into may and see if we're actually maybe in the champions league final 
See, I, okay, I'm, let me go ahead and make my prediction. So we finished with 36 points without the 99 overall striker. I must say we finished with 50. I must say we finished mid-table with about 50 points. I say we make it into the semifinal of one of the cups and into the quarterfinal of the other. I must say we get to the round of 16 in the Champions League, but don't uh, get farther than that. But I think that would still be a pretty big improvement with just the addition of one 9 overall striker. But let me know your predictions in the comment section below, and let's see who gets the closest. So the simulation is complete, and already, boys, we see an improvement. As it looks like we made the FA Cup Final. So without the 99 overall striker, we didn't even make the round of 16. And now we make the final against Newcastle of all teams. So two surprise uh, teams or clubs in the FA Cup Final. Now, how do we do in the league is the question. We have a manager rating of 86. That means we did something quite incredible. Before we actually look at the EPL standings, I'm going to go ahead and sim the match against Newcastle and see if we actually go from not making the round of 16 to becoming FA Cup champions. We're just going to go ahead, skip, and we lose 3-4 pins. So that sucks. Very anticlimactic, but that's still a huge improvement just from one player being improved. Now, let's look at the EPL standings. What if we actually did something crazy and actually won the league? Let's see how we did. And we finished in 11th. So, hey, my prediction was actually pretty close. I said we were going to improve to 36 to 50 points. And we improved from 36 to 54 points. So, the improvement from a 99 overall player gives us a total of my math is right i think is it 18 points hello um math yeah 18 points total of 18 points and penis ends in second place with a total of 18 goals which is pretty good but lukaku topped him at 19 to win the golden boot in the epl now to see how we did in the carabao cup and to see how we did in the champions league spurs won the league Manchester United came in second, Arsenal in third, Chelsea in fourth, Man City in fifth, any surprises, Liverpool all the way down in eighth, Everton in 15th, Newcastle, Burnley, and Brighton all going down. So as you saw, unfortunately, we did lose the FA Cup final to Newcastle, 4-3 in penalties, but look at some of the teams that made it in the FA Cup uh, round of 16. Middlesbrough, Millwall, QPR, Newcastle, who won it, Wolves, we had Wigan on the other side, Oxford United, Swansea, Norwich, Brewers FC, who I think is a League 2 team, they made it to the quarterfinals. QPR also made it to the quarterfinals, so that's a crazy round of 16, but unfortunately we didn't win. How about the Carabao Cup? We might have won that, because the finals should have already been played. And we did actually win the Carabao Cup against Crystal Palace 4-3 on penalties. So we lose one cup final on penalties and win the other. So looking at this one, still some crazy teams in the round of 16. AFC Wimbledon, you have Charlton Athletic, Derby County, Middlesbrough once again. Cardiff made it to the semifinal. Derby County also made it to the semifinal. Brentford, <laughs> Morecambe, Hull, and Fleetwood Town. Uh, that, these cup teams, round of 16s, have been crazy. So how about the Champions League? And we actually did make it to the round of 16 in the Champions League. My prediction was spot on there. I said we were going to make it to the round of 16 and lose, which we did to Sevilla 2-0. As it is going to set up for an El Clasico in the Champions League final, Barcelona versus Real Madrid. Now, how did we do in the table? Did we win our table or did we come in second? Looks like we came in, we won our table. We came top of our table, 11 points, one above Benfica. Leipzig once again came in dead last in our group which is kind of crazy because I feel like they should actually, with this group, win. So Big Penis did end up playing all 38 EPL games, scored 18 goals, had 3 assists, and a 6.9 average rating. And he also did pretty well in the FA Cup, 7 appearances, 4 goals, no assists, but did have a 7.2 average rating per game and scored another 4 in the Carabao Cup, 4 goals in 6 appearances with 7.3 average rating per game and our keeper with an 8.1 average rating per game. And last but not least in the Champions League, had only 3 goals in 8 appearances, so that puts him at a total of 29 goals for this season. As in conclusion, boys, to answer the question in the title of the video, you get an improvement of 16 league points. You go from being in the, not even the round of 16, to the final in two separate cups, losing one in penalties, winning one in penalties, and then coming in third place in your group stage in the Champions League to the round of 16 in the Champions League. So boys, that is going to do it for today's FIFA 18 experiment. Hopefully you did enjoy. I do find these extremely interesting, although it takes a long freaking time to sim a season. So if you guys do want to see 
the next position in this series. Let me know which position you do want me to do in the comment section below, and I could upload that maybe tomorrow or the next day. But be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you did enjoy. Turn on notifications as well if you haven't. But I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.